Now, listen, let me just tell you in black and white as the way it is. Never use the book knowledge to make money because you will not make it. Guess what happens? You'll be discouraged. And if you want to know what I'm talking about, if you're watching this from the Western countries like the US, the UK, and Canada, maybe you don't understand, go African any typical, go ask any typical African right now. I'm telling you this, there's nothing wrong with you getting those book knowledge. There's nothing wrong being an engineer, doctor, what have you, all those kind of things. Oh, by the way, if you would like them to make money, because there are some of you who are watching me, they're already a doctor and that's what you studied, fine, it's okay, that's what's paying you. I mean, there are some courses, obviously, you find like you can get a job easily, like the doctors, the engineers, Oh, no, no, not engineers. Let's talk about doctor and maybe teachers in Kenya. Okay, fine. The point is, like, don't use the book knowledge to look for money. They don't teach. You'll never get those. In this, those pages of those booklets that you write, you read all the way from when you're kindergarten up to tertiary education or maybe master's or PhD, the fact remains there is nowhere. Even the thesis, most of the thesis you find that it's just a thing you justify how this pen can write upside down and justify that, blah, 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 and all those kind of things. So the thing is, in the world of education and in the world of money, let me just put that on the board. By the way, as I do that, I go ahead and hit that like button on this video. By the way, that helps me a lot. By the way, you did know. By the way, you, I know you usually wonder, why do I always tell you to like the video? That's like buying me a coffee. I'll be so happy. Hit that like button and make sure that you subscribe. Subscription is, you see where I have my subscribers? Just adjacent to it on the right. There is a small button written, subscribe is in black. Just hit it. It disappears. By the way, that's just a magic. Let's go to the next point. See, I'm saying this. There are two worlds here. There is a world of the education. There is the world of education. And here we have the world of, um, how can I call it? The world of making money. The world of making money. The world of making money. Okay? Making money. See, now what happens with education? There is nothing wrong with it. I love it. I mean, the English that I'm using, obviously, I got it from the education. I didn't invent all the words I'm having. Okay? So what happens now? Uh, this is the world of the education. Now, here you are. We have a lot of people here. The ambition is to get the education. Why? So that they can be able to become valuable how they be able to get a job guess what job is a link that you use to get what money all right guess what i started with okay everybody knows you have to get the education you get the education why education they put something in you you get valuable they tell you you are a doctor now what happens now because now they have told you you are a doctor and they have taught you the skills of being a doctor you disseminate those services to a place to a certain institution an institution that has actually created a structure that you can be able to offer those services. Now, that's what we call the job. Job is a link. That link is you to where you make the money. Now, this is the problem that people make. See, this is this is basically how the system should work. But now what happens is this. You get the education. Yeah, you get the valuable or you get value. And then after that, you lack. There is a mischief. You lack the link on the job to help you make the money. So therefore, you are disconnected from the process of making money. We together up into that particular point. Now, when you are disconnected from that making money, guess what you retain? You retain the values that you have, the, the integrity, the intellectual capacity of yours. That is the, the doctor thing, the knowledge thing, the what, what, and all those kind of... I remember the first degree that I did in high school, I mean, university. Uh, is me, me, medic, uh, I'm a medical research officer, okay? See, now you find I didn't get the job. Then it means I just retained my valuable information. So I didn't have a place where I can do so. See, now, the problem is that you approach the real life with the book knowledge to make money, you can't make it. Why? Because when you approach the life with book knowledge to make money, you are conditioning your life. And how are you conditioning your life? This is you here, all right? This is you. You started what we call the human resource or supply chain management or criminology or whatever the thing you study. Now what happens? Here this is where the money is, okay? This is where the money is, okay? Now, if the money is on the other side, for you to get to this money, therefore, you have to have a link, and that link is the job. Say you don't get the link, meaning you are discontinued from getting the cash because you are relying on the book knowledge, all right? See, now, what happens is this. If there is a the presence of jobs, there is no problem. You can get the money, but the thing is, there is a limited amount that you can make out of that. See, but when you go overboard, when you go overboard, meaning like you become or you make yourself more valuable than just having those books that you have, for example, you become what we call the streetwise. And by the way, you know what? In the world of making money, streetwise is way, way much better compared to the book knowledge. Why? Streetwise is this. For example, we may have two people here. We may have somebody who has studied business. We have somebody who has studied business. Maybe they even have a PhD on business. They have a PhD on business. They know everything about business. If you ask them about economies, to explain, um, you know, marginal propensity to save the world, the world, the balance sheet, the whatever the thing, they know everything about the business. But on the book now here is you would you 
choose to get information about the business from this guy or would you choose to go and ask somebody who is running a very successful uh, you know hardware store somewhere across the road who would you ask say you would like to open a hardware store who would you go for you definitely go for the guy who is streetwise. Why? Because when you become a streetwise, you know where you can source those products. You know where you can sell them. You know who buys. And by the way, let me tell you one thing. The moment you get yourself into business or even in service industry, you actually have like a certain instinct deep inside of you. You can tell a client who will buy. For example, if you go to buy a car, for those who guys who sell cars, they know a client who will buy and they know this is just a waste of time. It's only that... They, they, they just know. You have that... When you have that sentimental attachment to your business you can just listen person for the first three or four calls like you know i'm online I'm, for example and allow me to use this example it's for my own purposes okay so you find for example someone can call me hey good joseph how are you good, uh, good morning i'm blah, blah, blah. i love your videos i'm so amazing i'm your subscriber i always follow your videos i always do this and there's nothing wrong i'm okay so i'm waiting for them to tell me what they want but in between i can tell mm, i know these guys trying to do say all these so that they can justify them watching my videos or they want my free services and all those kind of things and and by the way there is nothing wrong with them asking that question but i see there are two versions of information there's the free information the one that i'm sharing here with you and then there is a premium information where now you say like guess what joseph now i want you to, to help me how can i invest my 10 million in this and this and this and this you send me a lot of excel sheet there where i have to go through make sure that i prepare information definitely speaking well that you need to buy me something like a cup of coffee because obviously i can't charge like a hefty amount of money but see you find some the thing the point the, the point remains here is this so when you have a sentimental attachment when you are streetwise when you can understand the things how the nitty 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 uh, we call them the nitty gritties then you can be able to understand the things. so the point is don't rely on the book knowledge to make money you'll be frustrated why because you're conditioning the process of making money you have to have somebody who has actually laid a structure that you can offer your services to that structure so that they can link you with the money and guess what they don't link you with the primary source of making money what they link you with they link you with with what they have made themselves let, 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 let me explain this point for you to understand what i'm talking about see when you get a job this is what happens when you get a job this is you here okay you get a job see and i've said job is a structure created is a structure created where you offer your work offer your skills and services okay now this is the money the money is on the other side okay they offer the money on the other side so you function on the basis of hey guess what i solve your puzzles i solve your equations i solve your whatever and then you link me with the money no they don't link you with the money so what they do is that they themselves the owners of these structures the owners of the businesses whatever they are the one who have a direct access to the money you do not because most of the time they pay you when they want. Have you ever been working somewhere, even it's day 15, they have not paid you. See, because they have the say. So what happens, they don't link you with where the money is. What they do, they get the money. They're the one who have linked themselves into the money. They get the money and then they show you. And then they fool you. They create a very big barrier. You will never know where the actual money is. You always be programmed. Always look. You get fired from this job. You look for the next one. You look for the next one. You never get the access of the money. Let's be sincere. Let's be very sincere. Let's say you want to buy yourself a, a land cruiser. We usually call them here in Kenya TX. Okay, TX goes for around six million. Six million. You're getting a salary. Let's even say, let's even say you are earning the one percent of the Kenyans. One percent of Kenyans are earning hundred k per month. That's like a thousand dollars. Okay, that's like a thousand dollars. And we want to buy that TX worth six million. How long will you take? Let's be sincere. On a very serious note, that's a very good salary, 100000 How long will it take to buy you a $6 million Land Cruiser TX? And this Land Cruiser TX, what happens is that buying is not even an issue. <laughs> Maintaining it, that's where the issue is. This thing is a guzzler. To take a lot of money, services and what have you. The side mirrors and the windscreen and what have you. takes a lot of money. Now ask me, how long will it take? I mean, let me just ask you the question. So how long do you think will it take for you to make that amount of money? The whole entire year, one year, assuming that you get 100,000, you save it without using even a dime. You got to save the 1.2 million. So you need like roughly five or six years for you to accumulate the six, or rather to buy one TX. You find somebody has three in the parking or four. And then this is just a basic car. We've not even got to the crazy cars of uh, Rolls and uh, G3 wagons and what have you. The, the, the point remains... Uh, the, the car that you can get with this amount of money, give it at 2.5 to 1, 1.5, uh, crazy 3 million. And that, for that, probably you buy it at a, at, 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 at a loan or with a loan or something of so. The fact remains you are masked from actually getting the real source of cash where the money is. But if you can actually go ahead and, uh, and I'm not saying jobs are bad. No, jobs are okay because I always use this example that you must follow first for you to lead. 
Okay, there's nothing wrong with you getting a job. But in the job, in the job now, ask yourself, how can I start my own structure like this one? How can I start my own business? Have you ever been employed somewhere, but you only, you all, all the time you think about business? I remember when I was in attachment, I then I could look at the environment, and I was like, now I don't think this is really the appropriate environment for me. There's nothing wrong with it. I love it, by the way. It's okay. It's good. It's great. Uh, but uh, it's not a place that I would love to grow old from. It's a place where I would love to, you know, uh, be out there. And I remember uh, when I was there, although they weren't paying me, so I can't consider it as a job. So um, I used to think much about the businesses, you know, and, and I could look at the business point of that place where I was. It's only that the cost that I did, you know, requires a lot of money or required a lot of money then, according to my perception, for me to actualize that specific thing. Little did I know there is that thing that I have inside of me, you know, that I can be able to share with the people. You up the value now. Yes, you have the degrees and you have another thing that you're doing so that you can now, you, what you're doing, you're casting your net wider. You're spreading your tentacles all over the place and you can be able to leverage on that, okay? When you have a lot of skills in between. Now, what you're supposed to do is that make yourself streetwise. Understand how or where the money is actually made. Have what we call the good socioeconomics. Understand, if you're dealing with... I always tell people, if you're into, if you're, you have a job, spend a lot of the time not with your co-workers. Spend a lot of time with business people. Spend a lot of time with investors. Because that's where you're supposed to be. But now you find you relate a lot with those people whom you work with. And then you find most of them do not have a job. They're selling to you how heavy or hard or maybe, uh, you know, how, how, how it can actually not work when you want to start a business out there. So the point is, at all the time, make sure that at least you relate to these people. So that at least you can be able to grab some information and how you can grow yourself. Okay? So the thing is, C is relying fully on the book information. Go ahead and get the streetwise. And how can you become streetwise? Streetwise is when you relate to the people who are doing business. They don't have to be big investors. Just normal businesses. Learn the integrities. Let them share with you, uh, you know, those tough times that they face. And, and, and those tough times, well, how exactly do they get themselves out of that? The other thing you ask yourself, okay, fine. I've been saving 10000 a month. Last like 100 Gs in 10 months. Now, what can I do with this amount of money? How can I go about it? How can I use this extra cash that I have to help me, to link me with it directly where the money is coming from? What enterprise can I get myself with? Okay, fine. For now, business might be complicated. Where can I invest my cash? I know it is making me less, but it's far much better than having it idle somewhere. And then with time, I can gather enough knowledge and understanding and experience. By the time now I'm getting into the business, I already know one, two, three. And once you do exactly that, you'll shift your mentality. And the moment you get the, 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 the book knowledge, you see, always understand this. This is, should not be the end. You're not destined to be employed throughout your life. Find a way of how you can be able to go ahead and do something with the skills that you can be able to do yourself. For example, I always tell people, let's say uh, maybe you have an IT knowledge. That's what you got from the, from the, from the university. Or the only thing that you know is how the computer works. Everything about the computers, the softwares, the hardwares, the everything, the internet thing. The, you have those big and complicated terms. That is the only thing that you know. You don't only need that to make money. You need now, how can you monetize that what you know to make money out of it? And this is, has never been taught in the universities. Let me repeat. The only thing, let's say if you're an IT expert, the only thing that you know is how the computers works. You have all those complicated terms and what have you, but you don't know how to make money out of that what you know. That's what I'm talking about now. The question is then how can you make money out of that what you know? Because the whole point is to make money out of that what you know. And if you do not, you only think that you can only be employed by somebody who has a, a say, a, a company or something. Then you run their computers. You solve the year problem. If they found you worthy paying, let's say, for example, you're being paid 100000 or even 300000 Per month, 300,000 Kenyan shillings. That's like $3,000. That's a good amount of money. Now ask yourself, if they can pay me 300,000, how much I have made for them? So then why don't I go? It's like, you see, that knowledge that you have is like a shop. And what you're doing now, you're allowing other people to sell from your shop. Now ask yourself, what can you offer yourself and sell from your shop so that you can make that from them? Did it click somewhere? If it did it, if it did not click, just hang on, hang on a second. It will click. I remember back when I was in campus, we had a certain lecturer uh, was teaching us about the comparative anatomy, you know, about human body. And, and I remember he used to give us very complex name, you know, sternocleid, mastoid muscles and what funny, very big names, yeah. 
and, 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 and we were so innocent with those big names and we were like, hey, sir, we are not getting anything. And he say, just hang on, just hang on. It will sink. As the time goes, it will sink. So if it hasn't sink, then just hang on a second, it will sink. A time will come and you'll understand that specific thing. So anyway, the point is this. On 1st of June 2024, I'm going to have a live session on Google Meet. That live session will be about, because we now will be the first beginning of the second half of this year. And that second half usually have a lot of hype activities. The holidays are coming and the, also the another new year is coming. So we're going to talk about how do we hack the holidays before they come so that at least we don't ruin a lot of our cash and also make sure that we prepare ourselves for the next year that is coming god willing and uh, what exactly how are we supposed to actually put our finances in order for example some of you next year are gonna take the kids into high school some of you will take your kids to university so you need to get those things right some of you have been planning to do some weddings so that needs money like it's all about planning that is exactly what we're gonna talk about and if you would like to be a part of that and by the way before i even tell you how you be uh part of that i'm gonna share with you two free booklets it's gonna be about personal finance the one that i brought it recently and then another one is about money market fund as a way of investment so for you to be in that service you need to only you need the only 15 dollars that's like 1500 or something kenyan shilling then i'm gonna show you the link that you can be able to join us then you can be able to have a session that is exactly what we're gonna do for now it's a goodbye make sure that you hit the like button subscribe and find it's a goodbye see you in the next one